Happy birthday, Billy. Hello, my name is Billy Amesworth. And how are you? A breathtaking encounter. Billy's eyes were caressed by a truly magnificent sight. Oh! One look at her, she's oh so fine. I know I've got to make her mine. She's just my kind, can't get her off my mind. Hello, all you wonderful, fabulous people. How's it going? How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with the Decades Challenge. And y'all, this is going to be quite the episode. I am just going to say, if you are super excited for this episode today, changing of the decades, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I am super excited for it. This is going to be an episode just let me point out today is thanksgiving we are going to be having the family of what remains <laughs> the rest of our family over for th some thanksgiving dinner and celebration and then tomorrow we will be changing the decades to the 1950s and billy is going to be aging up at the same time to a young adult so there's a lot going on so last time william and mary both passed away and you know with a day apart so that was a lot and yeah that's basically all that was the last time and my funeral mod crapped out so we're not using that anymore but it is 7 30 in the morning so just a few hours has passed nothing real big has changed that i know of they're still sad we're gonna have the family over here in just a little bit so we can get this thanksgiving thing on the road um and it is raining it is the end of fall i believe yes it is day five out of seven of fall they're having some mysterious weather i see and it's kind of cool wait what are you doing oh <gasps> no you are not having a drink young lady you are too young <gasps> what are you doing maria where do you think you're going with that what i told you to put that down who said you could have that you are too young no don't drink you are a teenager you're not having that alcohol sorry lady you're not having it missy oh and that dog is dirty as usual so billy we're gonna have billy oh he needs to go take care of himself everybody is super sad oh her heart is broken her heart is broken uh no one likes me no one will ever like me why bother me with anything anymore wow i will always love you people like you look around so her responsibility is pretty high but i remember her empathy not being so high so we'll say this one i'll always love you i mean i would say both i would tell this child both you know hey i love you and also maybe you should look around you have a lot of people that have surrounded you with love everybody loves you maria everybody there she goes i'm gonna go work on some woodworking okay it is 11 30 in the morning and because i know it takes really long to get through these things and it's thanksgiving we're gonna go ahead and invite everybody over here okay so we've got everybody is here we're gonna have uh margaret here needs to cook what is this wow what a sim margaret amesworth just stopped what they were thinking about <gasps> uh oh i think staring at john jr no no a breathtaking encounter margaret's eyes were caressed by a truly magnificent sight oh <gasps> she's got a cry Gosh, heart stopping. Oh, she's got a crush on John Jr. I mean, he does look a little bit like William. What? I, I guess. So we're gonna have Margaret come over here and cook, but she, she needs to go take care of herself. I don't know what's holding her up here. Okay, so we need to have the grand meal. So we're gonna have Margaret go ahead and cook a grand meal. We're gonna have the turkey dinner, the typical turkey dinner, grand meal. Billy is just going out to talk to his uncle. It looks like, Maria, you're not cooking that. What are you doing, Maria? You can't cook that. She's grilling um, Palo a la la brasa, whatever that. That is. I know, but you're going to catch your face on fire. You'd be sniffing like that. And these guys are just hugging it out. Wow. Wow. They're like twins. Look at this. They are literally like twins. <laughs> it is Antonio, of course. They do be looking like brothers. They just be 
Sharon reminisces, they're reminiscing about the departed. You know, my dad left us and your mom left us and here we are, here we are, just stuck together. We got each other's back though, don't, don't we bro? Even though you're my cousin, you feel like my brother, the brother I never had. Oh, that's super sweet though. And let's see how she's doing on this dinner. Maria's just sitting here. Wait, you're having yourself some animal crackers when you got a meal coming? You're not eating that, oh no, no. Who is this lady? She's not an event PC, NPC. I don't know what she'd be doing. She stopped by, apparently. We'll say she's a neighbor. She stopped by to wish her condolences to us. That was really, really nice. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. She's got to entertain herself. Oh, she's acting real, real silly. Okay, wait, the dinner is here, okay? We need to call everybody. The dinner is done. And Margaret, you can just call everybody to the grand meal. Wow, this is a lot less Sims than before. Hello, Billy saying hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing okay. How's it going? We're a little bit smaller this year at Thanksgiving time. Oh no, I forgot I had other plans. <gasps> no, Frank. I tell you, holidays are very hard to keep everybody in here. Next time, I'm just going to lock them in. And Margaret has just made 300 forced millions on her day off. I really don't know who this lady is. I don't know who she is. Everybody's just enjoying a nice time. Okay, we need to we need to be thankful. So we're going to have them. They're just going to share their thankfulness. Sentiment gained. Uh, you're so fun to be around. Yes. It was great seeing you. I have to go, of course. Goodbye, whoever you are. John. Jacob. <laughs> Bye, Jacob. I am deeply saddened by the news. Maria, I'm here for you. Okay, I don't know who you are, but thank you. This is the saddest Thanksgiving we ever had. Everybody's done left us, and we have all this food. Oh, there's singing, and she just did that on her own. She just broke out and started singing. She also needs to bake and tell stories. So she needs to tell a story to him she's telling some wild story about how the cops came and you know those people got caught and everybody's saying that was the worst story ever it stunk so bad and she's thinking i gotta go wash the dishes mom that was a terrible story that was terrible sentiment gained oh everybody's just gaining all the sentiments so maria margaret is needs to bake we're gonna have margaret bake some brownies you need to head off to bed little lady it is only eight o'clock i'd like to just point out that this was the world fastest Thanksgiving ever, but we still have the same amount of dirty dishes. Marie, you need to stop and go to bed because it's 10 o'clock almost and you're about to pass out. The pastor has come over and is taking care of our garden right now. Isn't that real nice? That's real, real nice. Where's your shoes at, pastor? That's real nice of him. She's gonna go to bed because it is 11.30 at night and uh, she be looking real, real tired. And Frank is just typing away on that typewriter. Wait, who's this ghost? Is that William? Oh, it's William! Oh, William. Is he gonna start breaking everything now? I have a feeling he's gonna break that refrigerator. <gasps> he's haunting the pet bowl. I never seen the pet bowl be haunted. William, what are you doing? Thanksgiving was successful. Thanksgiving was awesome. So they all thought it, Mar or Maria, Maria thought it was pretty good, but Margaret and Billy both thought it was awesome. So that's good. Um, Margaret does go to work. Oh, she has three days off. She doesn't go to work for three days. Wait. <gasps> That dog be giving up the ghost right now. Our doggie just died. Oh no, oh no. Ginger has led a good life filled with bones, balls, and barks. But it's now time to lay down and make her way to the big dog park in the sky. <gasps> I wasn't expecting this dog to die yet. Oh dear, I forgot all about that she was aging up in there to Grim Reaper be. Oh no, this doggy it did pass away. Right outside at least. At least she didn't die inside the house. Oh and look at William's here to see it. Like oh no. I've left him and now the doggy's left him. Oh this poor family. Okay, I have put them under the tree and I put some little flowers there. The doggy just right next to William. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that dog to die. It is four... It was almost five in the morning and Margaret just got up. I'm telling you, she took William's spot when William passed away and now she's the early riser. She wants to flirt with her dead husband and get engaged to him. And it is the decade change. It is also 
Billy's birthday, but we're gonna let him go ahead and go to school. And then when he gets home, we will go ahead and make a cake and have him age up. They don't have anything on here about their dog passing away. I don't think anybody's noticed. <gasps> so we were getting a call here from Johnny, our neighbor. Would you like to go out with me, Maria Amesworth? I feel the same way. Sorry, but I don't feel, okay, sure. I guess they are dating now. I guess Maria and the neighbor boy have a thing going on. I didn't even know that they, okay. <laughs> I guess that's gonna be a thing. Why aren't you boy? Aren't you going to school? Uh, yeah, you need to go to school. Okay, I don't know why they're not going to school. So I must have set it to where they had today off. So we're gonna go ahead and switch the decade. We're gonna go ahead and change things over. I'm not gonna make the house over. I'm just going to give them a little makeover in Cass, and then we'll go ahead and age Billy up, and we'll look at everything. What's gonna be changing for the 50s? Okay, so this is how they have changed. I actually didn't change, end up changing that much. In fact, with Maria, I didn't change anything because she pretty much, when I, she just aged up into a teen. And so I had already pretty much kind of set her for the 50s. This is going to work for 50s. This is, you know, it's the similar, the end of the 40s into the beginning of the 50s was pretty, you know, it was the same. So I'm just going to leave her be. I didn't do anything with her. But with Billy, I did change his everyday to this, some jeans. They started wearing jeans. So we've got the is going on and then I did change his formal wear I did change this to his athletic wear just a t-shirt and jeans and that's it that's all I changed with him and then with Margaret I just changed this to her every day it's a real subtle change for her actually it's not that much different from what she had she had on a blue flowered dress and now it's pretty much a plain one and then this is her formal I gave her a little updo I really like this hair for her. It's really cute. A little bit more modern. And her athletic was, I changed it to this. And then that stayed the same. What else? Oh, her party wear, I did change to this little dress and her swimwear is here and then her hot weather this is for her hot weather and then her cold weather certainly more 50s than what she had before i think she looks really cute that's it that's all i did it's not a big real big change for the clothing so there they are okay so this we're gonna go right into the rules i just want to go over this really quickly let me first say i normally do check the rules before this point so i kind I know ahead but for some reason this time around I didn't check the rules until a couple days ago which is why it's kind of taken me a little longer to get this video made because it was a big shock I wasn't prepared but we are going into the Korean War now I read about this back when we were in the 30s and for some reason my mind had like closed totally blacked it out. The Korean War has started. It lasted from like 1950, uh, the summer of 1950 to the fall of 1953 or something. Anyways, this is what's gonna happen. So the oldest son is drafted for the Korean War. He will, when he becomes a young adult. And the oldest daughter also becomes a volunteer nurse in the war when she becomes a young adult. So the son can try for a baby before he is called to service. Both must eat the cow plant cake once, roll a dice, odds they must eat a second piece of cake, and evens they are sent home. And we all know what happens when they eat that second piece of cake, they die. So if we get odds with Billy, he's gonna die in the Korean War, and we will not be continuing on with him. This is upsetting to me, but at the same time, I guess we should have been prepared. These Sims are not allowed to have a career until they return from war. If you have Strangerville, then they are required to take the military officer career during active duty. We do have the Strangerville um, pack, so we will be doing that, I guess, uh, as well. So any trait, the traits are affected. Any Sim returning from war must suffer trauma and take one of the following traits the next time they age up. I think when he ages up into an adult, he takes this trait, one of these traits. But anyways, he gets gloomy, hot-headed, clumsy, insane, lazy, mean, paranoid, and non-committal. I've already decided he's going to take the clumsy trait. So now Sim Sims may divorce for any reason. Adoption is allowed. Sims can live in an apartment now. Um, showers are now allowed. Carpet patterned 
and brick flooring is now allowed. Private pools are allowed. Televisions are allowed, but only the first three cheapest TVs are available. They can only watch TV from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And news and TV classic channels are the only thing that they can watch. <laughs> Um, and then painting styles are all allowed. Kids' drawings can be hung anywhere, which I, I guess I didn't realize that they couldn't be hung before. But then the radio listening, we don't have to listen to the radio for an hour a day anymore. We don't have to eat out of our pockets anymore. Pop music is allowed, listening device, so the earbuds are now allowed. And they can use sunscreen, snorkel, and floating, device, uh, floating loungers are now allowed. Both elementary school and high school are mandatory, which I kind of figured. Uh, the Korean War lasted early summer summer 1950 to late summer of 1953. Okay, so there it is. For three years it lasted. Um, if your sim wants to attend university, they may do so after they have served active duty for a minimum of eight days. And then these are all the careers that are listed. I'm not going to go into that, but that's there they all are. And then women should quit their job while they have babies during this time. So anybody that we get with, they cannot work if they're going to, if they're pregnant, if they become pregnant, they have to be at home with the baby. Um, they may work again when they have teens. So they actually have to stay out of work until their kids are teenagers. That's a long time. World War II veterans can receive a pension. We don't have any World War II veterans. Your holidays, the change the name of Armistice Day to Veterans Day during this time. Cell phones can now be used for chatting. Just pretend that they are wall phones. Sims can have unlimited hot meals. That's good. You are allowed to hire a nanny. And with the commercial availability of formula, bottle feeding is now allowed and Sims can paint any size of painting and smoke alarms are allowed and playground equipment is allowed. I I guess I didn't realize that this was a thing. So we already have a jung jungle gym thing, but I didn't realize, oh well, it's not a, a big deal for me. Oh well, oops, I use jungle gyms um, or monkey bars. Uh, so there's all the rules. Now, one of the things is because I am doing the way she kind of for added accuracy and difficulty, I've been using it all the way along. You could either use like some people when they play this challenge, they they use the when your your firstborn is young adult, you switch a decade, so they don't have to worry about all this counting days. I've been switching decades every 20 days, um, just like it has said here. So we will be changing. We'll do this for however long my sanity can do this, because uh, this is going to make things really hard. But we can, we will be switching to a long lifespan. So it says when your game hits 1950, change your game options so that you are on long sim lifespan. This will require that you manually manually age up all your sims from this point forward. So when you switch it to long, it basically doubles the lifespan. So everything stays the same from baby and toddler, teen, all that is still the same as up here. But when you are a young adult and you go to turn into an adult, you're an adult for 50 days and you're an elder for 40 days. So when you compare it to the, what it says on the webs this wiki, um, young adult is, it's a lot shorter. So everything staying the same, it's, there's no way I could do this game for 94 days with one. No, no, no. So I'm liking that it isn't quite as long because the short is too short. The normal is not quite long enough and the long is too long. So this is the way we will be doing it. This actually doesn't affect Billy and all of our family right now. It will affect those born in 1950s, but we will still age them up manually no matter what, but we're going to be using this schedule for them. What's going to further complicate things is the calendar. I've said for a while now that this calendar, I've only ever played with the seven day calendar. I've never tried the 14 or the 28 days. I've just always done this. But as I was thinking about this challenge, I decided that not only am I going to make it long lifespan, I'm going to make the seasons a little longer as well. I've always complained that we're having holidays and birthday stack. We have other holidays so close together and I feel like we can't get anything done. We don't really have time to visit. I feel like these seasons as seven days, while it's all I've ever played, I feel like they're too short. And when you're trying to develop a story, I feel like it can be better developed 
if we had more time. So I'm going to be changing the seasons as well to 14 from seven. So what's gonna happen is I'm about to switch this. All of these holidays are gonna probably disappear. So what happens when you switch from long to short or short to long, whatever, the holidays get all kind of mixed up. So we'll see, I have already written them down, don't worry, and I'm going to change the new calendar over to fit our gameplay. So we will go ahead and switch the game options to long lifespan, and we're having uh, everybody's auto aged up by themselves, yes, everything there. So we will apply this, and then we will go to weather, and here we'll switch it to 14 days. Now what happens to the calendar is it all changes so we now have each season lasts for two weeks so right now we're here we have a whole nother week of fall and then we have two weeks of winter two weeks you know you get the point oh right they did shift see i had play tested this not in this gameplay but another one and they all disappeared so maybe it's just random because they have actually just shifted let me go ahead and change the way i have it written down and worked out and i'll show you guys what i've got so while we had thanksgiving here because we just switched we are so close to switching the decades i went ahead and had it it already started and i couldn't delete it but the next time we have Thanksgiving it's actually gonna be down here on this Thursday because this Thursday will be Halloween so we'll literally have a hol one or two holidays in a week so we have Halloween will be this first day or this week of fall then Thanksgiving here right here is veteran day coming up on Monday this first week of winter will be Christmas and then New Year's I just shifted it up by a week because while there's not a holiday here right now in the 70s we will be gaining Martin Luther King Day here and I really didn't want to have that all in the same week. Um, so we'll have one holiday here. Then this first week of spring, we have Valentine's Day. And then the second week I moved Easter from here to here. And then we have also in the 1980s, we do, we will be gaining, we will be gaining Earth Day, which will be like here. So we'll be gaining Earth Day in the 1980s. That will be here. So there'll actually be two come the 1980s. While this is all in the future, it is coming <laughs> pretty quickly. So I'm just, I want to keep track of it right now. So I don't get caught in the same spot that I did with the 50s and all of this change. And then over here, we have Memorial Day for this week. And then this week is 4th of July over here. So we literally have pretty much one holiday a week each season. So it's two holidays a season, two or three, well, some, some seasons will have three. I did a lot of this so we don't run into the problem that we ran into before with having birthdays on holidays and then you can't celebrate the birthday. Also, we, now that we're on longer lifespan, it's changed all of their birthdays, right? So we're actually going to be aging Billy up today. And then now Margaret, she has 18 days till she's gonna be an elder that's not true she has less than that she has like seven days until she's an elder i think or six and maria now has 38 days till she is a young adult so we're obviously not going to do that so i'm going to go ahead with my mc using the mc command center i will change this and adjust it to them because they don't have to do the long lifespan they're aging up still according to that normal lifespan so i'm going to go fix that and it'll put the birthdays in here so right now she's at 78 she's actually at 90 so that will make her have her birthday on the appropriate day right here she will be aging up so this was where it was at before we literally had six days until she's going to be an elder instead of being down here she's now here okay so for maria it added on 15 days her birthday was technically it's supposed to age she's supposed to age up here and it's now down here so we have to take or add on the 15 days. That should put her birthday right here on the first day of spring. So now we've got their birthdays when they should be. So by doing this, this is gonna allow us to play with other families a lot easier. So I'm going to be jumping around in families more because we'll have suddenly time. I also will have to off camera, I will go through all of our family because like Frank, he was supposed to die, I believe in two days, I think, or what, what did it say, six days, whatever it was. And now it says he has 29 days left in elderhood when he only should have six. I have written everything, all of these families, 
birthdays down so we i will have to go fix the rest of the family i guess i'll do that off camera we'll fix them okay so we are gonna go ahead and let's have them we'll have um margaret go ahead and plan this event for billy okay so we have it set and everybody is on their way here he's gonna go to the bathroom take a bath okay so we need to blow out candles so first of all margaret needs to bake a cake so let's get that going. Okay, here's our cake, here's our cake. So we'll go ahead and put this here. And Margaret, you can go ahead and add birthday candles. And Billy, you can come over here and blow out the candles. And I just realized I have dressed them in the same exact outfit. Again, I did this again. I did this with Margaret and Mary. Happy birthday, Billy. And Billy has aged up. Because we haven't gone to the war yet, I think I'm gonna give him either um, family-oriented or good. You know, I think I'm gonna give him family-oriented. Let's go with family-oriented. And then later on in life, after the war, we will have to take, we'll take away Glutton and we'll give him the clumsy trait. Yes, there we go. Let's have a drink, make favorite drink. I don't know what his favorite drink is. So happy birthday, shame it. Wait, our birthday party ended. <gasps> oh, it was bad. Oh, well, you know, it happens. It happens. The birthday party has ended. So Billy decided uh, since he had such a bad birthday, he was just going to take a walk. And he was walking by these people's house. This is actually just down the road from where he lives just down the street. He saw all these people standing out here. He's like, what is going on over here? Hello, my name is Billy Amesworth. Um, how are you? What's your name? Oh, you're Sandra Banks. Nice to meet you. And you're Susan. Hello, Susan Banks. How are you? Nice to meet you all. I'm your neighbor from down the street. I hope you guys are doing fine. Wow, what a sim. Billy Amesworth just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found that Susan Okay, so he is attracted to Susan over here. A breathtaking encounter. Billy's eyes were caressed by a truly magnificent sight. Oh! So this is the Banks' home. We're just gonna get to know these folks over here. But she's really cute. I really like her. I think she's super cute. This is gonna be a very fast courtship, y'all. It's gonna be a very fast courtship. Uh, look at how fast their friendship is going up. Wow, she's a genius. Billy has learned that Susan is a genius. Billy has learned that Susan is a substitute teacher at Knowledge Providers Association. Wow, do you feel happy around me? What? Of course I do. Okay, so this is coming along kind of really nicely. So he thinks she's very responsible and she thinks he's funny, but a friend will always be there. So we have to take this to the next level. We have to find out more about this Susan Banks. So he's already good friends with her. We've literally talked like not even that long. So what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and leave. We're gonna go ahead and go home. We've been here. We got this went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. It is seven. It's almost eight o'clock at night. We're gonna go ahead and say goodbye and go home. We are back home and wow, he's in a flirty mood. We literally just got back here and he is is like blushing. A breathtaking encounter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he is like all the friends billy really doesn't feel like a sim can have too many friends the more the merry he was so happy about going over there and meeting them like he he was so happy about running into them and meeting them look at this a happy moment with the happy thing that happened billy is feeling pretty good for a moment oh and he's blushing something or someone seems to have him blushing it's susan deep connection the relationship already is way high i wasn't even he wasn't even over there but for a few hours but i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here i know this this episode may have been kind of all over the place there's a lot going on i just spent the last couple of days thinking about how i was going to do this with my mess up how i was gonna fix things with you know having him to go off to war because my dumb ass forgot that the korean war is happening so um this is probably going to move really fast so the next episode i think what we're going to do is we're going to go out on a date with susan and we are going to see where things go from there he may end up proposing 
in the next episode. And if in that case he ends up proposing, we'll probably also go ahead and shortly after try for a baby and then he'll have to go off to war. Um, so we'll actually be leaving this house and moving into the military banks that I downloaded off the gallery. And yeah, that will all take place. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you did. Also, don't forget to click the little bell to get notified for whenever I upload a video. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. She's my kind of